and we're back in our physics stock room. We're going to show a couple uh, magnetism demos uh, all today, and these all have to do with Faraday's law. So the applications of Faraday's law. So I want to show you this one here. We have a um, coil, and we have an iron bar in there, which uh, increases the magnetism that it can create. And we have the coil connected to AC power supply. So when I turn this on, what's going to happen is AC source is going to come through here. The AC current is co constantly changing as a sine function. So that means the coil is going to create a magnetic field inside of it. And because the iron bar is there, it's even stronger. And that magnetic field is also going to be constantly changing. So when I put a ring here, let's turn this on. You can see the effect there. If I put the ring like right now, the ring will levitate. So what's going to happen here is this one creates a changing magnetic field inside of this ring. And then there is a current induced in the ring which opposes the magnetic field that created it. So the current itself will create its own magnetic field and the two will repel each other. So this is also a mechanism that you can see that you could use as levitation. And if you keep it there for a while, you come and touch it, it's already warmer, okay? Now if I put this ring, I will show this to my students. I put this ring and nothing happens to it. So I say, What's, what happened? And they're just thinking, thinking, thinking. And then they see that it actually uh, doesn't make a closed loop. So you can't have a current in here. So it's not just sufficient that this be a a metallic ring but it needs to be a closed ring so if I put it nothing happens the other effect could be I could turn it off and then turn it on and this can be used as a ballistic mechanism you could shoot the ring out depending on how strong your B field is you see so in some cases let's see if I, if I, can, sh I can shoot it out so you could have a good contest here, see which one can create, uh, who can create the best uh, ballistic uh, machine here, fire the ring out as high as you want. The other use of this can be, I could have a lamp here, and the lamp is connected to another ring in and of itself, and the ring is has many, many turns in there, and I could put this here, and I could create electricity in that lamp. So the changing magnetic field in the inner ring is creating a current in the outer ring which lights the light bulb. So this is mutual inductance here and you have a mechanism to have a light bulb light up there without even touching that. But this is pretty amazing here to me that through the air you're creating here a mechanism for lighting the light bulb. The other kind of use of the Faraday's law that I'm going to show you, let's turn this off here, is something like this. We have uh, two tubes, okay, and we have two similar looking objects here, these blue looking objects here, and I'm going to drop these uh, objects through these tubes, and we're going to time how long it takes each one see which one goes there faster. So as you drop it, you see one of them goes really fast, and the other one takes much, much longer, okay? So there's that levitation effect. So what happened there? Well, this one went a lot slower, and what you learn is that this is actually a magnet. So if you put it something metallic, okay, you see, like here I'm putting it against this metal, this sticks, whereas if you put this, it doesn't stick at all, right, so this is the ma uh, magnet, so the magnet, when I'm dropping it here, so I'll try it again here, you can see it's going really slow, This is also an application of Faraday's law. The tube is acting like a viscous fluid and slowing the magnet down. So what's happening is as the magnet is coming, 
each element of the each element of the tube you have a changing magnetic field created and so you create current in that tube that opposes that magnetic field so uh, it acts like a viscous fluid they oppose each other so it acts like a buoyant force on the magnet and it counteracts its weight the weight still wins but it goes much slower okay so that's a couple of uh, demos illustrating Faraday's law thank you